A while back I did a video where we did the trims and the follow-ups all in one video and I got a ton of great feedback from that. So I'm gonna continue that. They obviously take a lot longer to do because I need to get that follow-up footage before I can make that video. But today we've got one of those. We are trimming heifers and this girl has got a white line lesion that we need to take care of. We're gonna get that taken care of and we're gonna fast forward ahead and take a look at her recovery as well. So stick all the way to the end to see that. So what we have here is what I call a high white line lesion, meaning it's high up in that white line, and these almost always track up into that heel bulb. So that's what I'm gonna have to do here. I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna open this up a little bit, get my knife out, and then we're gonna have to remove all of the, the separation involved here to allow this girl to heal properly. I get a lot of questions if trimming hooves is painful, and it really isn't. Trimming a hoof is very similar to uh, trimming our fingernails, right? There's no feeling in there. Um, in cases like this where we have lesions underneath, where we're dealing with lesions, those lesions are painful, which is why when I'm working, I'm, I try to be incredibly careful not to uh, cause her any more discomfort. Right here, I'm holding that claw to make sure it doesn't move around, being very careful not to uh, affect any of the underlying tissues when I'm working and that way I can keep the discomfort for this girl at a very at a very minimal level. So what happens when we have a lesion like this is that sole underneath will separate and that that's what we see here where I'm, I'm removing this loose sole and it does that in an attempt to try to heal that lesion on its own. We get the uh, that sole separates, lifts up a little bit, gives some room in there. But what happens is that cow, will, if, she, if we don't intervene, that can um, irritate that lesion underneath. So all I'm doing is helping to speed up the process, opening this up so air can get in there and dry that lesion out and the horn can begin to form. When we get up into these heel bulb areas, that is a different consistency of horn, shall we say. It's, it's not like skin and it's not like normal hoof. It's somewhere in between. That's why I switch up to scalpel and get much better cuts, especially when you have a lot of really soft horn here. It's much easier to remove, much easier to do it accurately. So that's why I switch up.
The spray I use to clean these lesions up is called chlorhexidine. And the reason I use that is because chlorhexidine uh, provides a longer lasting barrier and because it actually binds to the keratin in the hoof. So keeps that bacteria from colonizing on this open lesion, gives it some time to heal. The reason I don't disinfect before I start working on these is because if you remember back at the beginning of this video, there was just a small little pinhole. This entire area was covered up with horns. So in order to really get this cleaned out, you gotta wait till the end to do that. These little flaps of skin here, I don't wanna remove that. That is actually living tissue. So, and you'll see in the follow-up, it has no consequence to healing. This is, it's just part of the uh, normal healing process. So I'm gonna leave that there. Got a block on that other claw to elevate it. Now I'm gonna put salicylic acid on here. There is some dermatitis in these heifers. So um, I'm using the salicylic acid just to make sure that if there is any of that bacteria there, it doesn't colonize and slow the healing of this foot. So now let's get this foot down. We'll let her out and see how she's walking right now. And as you can see, she walks beautifully with that block on there. Hard to believe with the significance of that lesion, but blocks do amazing things. Now let's fast forward four weeks exactly. Pick this foot up and we'll see how that healing has progressed. So as I get this foot cleaned up, the first thing you'll notice is that block is no longer on that other claw. It must have fallen off sometime between when I put it on and now, but we've got good healing. We've got nice new solid horn formation. The lesion itself is completely filled in. So let's get the knife out now. We'll trim this up a little bit better, make this a little cleaner, and make sure there's no openness left to that lesion. Everything's looking good. Solar horn will grow at about a rate of about a quarter of an inch per month. So in the 28 days since it's been, we should have about a quarter of an inch of uh, new sole on that foot. That is enough to support weight. So we're not, we don't have to worry about putting a block on there. And when she walked in, and as you'll see when she walks out, there's no discomfort in that foot, which is a good sign that there's no sensitivity coming from the bottom side of this foot. As we swing in here, get a good look at this new sole. We've got all brand new horn all the way along here, including new uh, heel ball berries, completely healed in, new sole throughout. Remember that white layers that I left, those little flaps of skin, that first trim along the sole? Well, you can see that is that black area there. It's completely uh, become part of the new sole altogether. Here we got the lesion where the initial uh, lesion site was. That is filled in. That's all new hard horn again. No openness left to that whatsoever. So this girl is ready to go. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. And I'm gonna leave you today with some more heifers scratching their heads on strawberries. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you all on the next one.